Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a day in the life today. I meant I meant to um, get a cooking clean with me up this morning, it's Sunday morning right now. I meant to get that up this morning for you guys, um, but I didn't have the ingredients for the meal that I wanted to make, and it was blizzarding, blizzarding outside yesterday, and I was stuck in the house. All of the interstates were closed again. All of like the road, like the whole city was shut down. It was a no travel advisory. <sighs> to say I'm getting sick of living here is an understatement. But anyway, so I didn't do that cooking clean with me. I was like, oh God, I like, just need to commit to something. So I'm just gonna commit to a cute little day in the life for you guys. I have to go to a bridal shower. I'm running inside Target right now to grab a card. It is 10.20, I need to be there by 11, and I still have to pick up my other best friend, Seal. Hmm, okay, I need to sip my coffee, and I need to get my girl's coffee too. I'm the coffee fairy. Um. Anywho, all right, bridal shower and coffee, or Target, coffee, pick up my best friend, bridal shower, go back home with the kids so that Mike can finish up some Eminem Rustic pieces. I need to play my calming list on Spotify this morning. I'm gonna lose my mind today. <laughs> See you in short the channel. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, so I just got back from and the bridal shower. Guys, guys, what did I say? Mm. Show those lotions to this. You're so bossy. Okay, I'm supposed to show you these. Um, I was one of the winners at the bridal shower, so I got some windy, winter, windy. <laughs> some winter candy apples, <laughs> lotion, and body wash, um, which is actually like one of my favorite scents from there, but anyway. Okay, I just got back. I need to clean the house, the dishes. Again, the sink is full. Um, we finally have somebody coming to fix our dishwasher. Um, right after we get back from Florida, so that will be super awesome. Like, it still works, don't get me wrong. Like, the dishwasher still works. It just, like, doesn't, um, like, the water, it, there's something wrong with the control board, so. The control board is due to be fixed um, once we get back um, so that the water will run for, like, a full cycle. You guys are in my cabinet right now, which is why I'm, like, hanging out to the door, but anywho, I need to do some dishes, and then I need to probably eat some lunch. I've kind of been feeling, like, blah today if I'm being honest I don't I don't feel good like I I'm kind of nauseous and like my friend my friend was telling me she's like well maybe it's like a blood sugar thing but which maybe it is I'm not which maybe it is I'm not totally sure um anyway I'm just like feeling kind of nauseous I don't really feel good I had an egg a couple egg See, my brain's not working. I had an egg and a couple pieces of bacon this morning, and then I had coffee. Mm -hmm. I had like two I cups of coffee. Hey, Chana, I don't remember myself. What I say again? I still in her jammies. I don't know. Guess what? I don't remember my song. I said, Jackson from the snow. And I said, Lopping all the way. And I said, No, that's not my song from Girls. <laughs> okay, so. I wanted to share something that happened yesterday and I feel, hmm, I don't know how to feel about it. So you guys know that I, I mean it's only been a couple weeks, but I've been like working out and like dieting, like watching what I eat, been working really hard at it. Um, I have been like, I've been like flabby ever since I had kids, like overweight ever since I had kids, and I've, I'm working on it, and for the most part, I'm super happy with my body. Um, I still feel confident, I still feel sexy, like I'm curvy, and I just, I still feel really good, and like still confident, but um, something happened yesterday, we had like, I had this like weird like mental switch. Um, I went to Target, okay, let's back up a little bit, actually, I'm going, I was going through all of my stuff, like deciding what I was gonna pack for Florida to see like if I needed anything else. Um, and everything in my closet, like I just realized that everything that fits me, like summer cloth clothing wise, was like it's like not my style anymore. It's not me anymore. I didn't I just like had a complete meltdown and like yes, I'm like PMSing, so I'm sure that had like a lot to do with it, but I literally like threw I like donated like half of my summer clothes. I kept them my kimonos, but like the tank tops that I get, they're like like double XLs in this like chiffon material and it like one was like floral, one it's like the patterns were not me at all. Like 
I'm super, I don't know, like my style, I guess I'm more so like relaxed, like moto, like grungy. I really don't know how to explain my style, like kind of like a tomboyish style, but like with like cute makeup or something. I don't know. I'm girly, but like not like florally. That doesn't make any sense, but hopefully you guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, anyway, my clothes that I had were not me at all. In fact, they were so not me that when I like put them on and I like looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, who am I? Like, I look like a 35 year old woman wearing these types of clothes, like this type of clothes, like, and it's just because like, that's what looks good on my body right now. And it just like, it made me really sad and it came from like a really like dark place. Um, anyway, so I went to Target, I like donated all, put all of that in like a donation bag and then I went to Target and I tried on some stuff that I thought would like make me feel good, like, I don't know. And then, and then I realized I was still reaching for that same stuff because of like the shapes and the cuts and, and like I put a couple of the shirts on and I literally looked like a grandma wearing a doily and it's, the other stuff that I actually really, really liked and it was more my style, didn't, it didn't fit me didn't fit me, like an XL at Target did not fit me. And I was really sad, it, like to the point, I had the kids in the dressing room with me and nothing was fitting and nothing was looking good. Like again, like I'm a confident person and this was a really hard pill for me to swallow. Like by the time I got out of that dressing room, you guys, my, it's um, on the counter. By the time I got out of, that, out of that dressing room yesterday, you guys, was like a mental like rock bottom for me as far as like confidence and like like the way my body looks and things like that. Like it was it was a dark place and it made me really sad. And I know I've like talked about this before in one of my like postpartum videos, like put like talking like postpartum is hard, weight loss is hard. I'm coming up on like Riker being a year old and I am still struggling like with my postpartum body. Um, after two kids, my body's not the same and I'm okay with that. There's just some things that I wanna work on, but, and I know there's not like instant results, but I have been, I think it's a lot of like my frustration comes from the, like the, I've been, we eat healthy and like, I have been tracking my food the entire pregnancy with Riker. I tracked my food, made sure I didn't overeat. I always ate healthy. I mean, once in a while, I would have like a McDonald's Sprite or like a large fry from McDonald's, but that was like few and far between. And for the most part, I was very healthy during my pregnancy. Gained 40 pounds while I was pregnant with Riker, but I also lost all 40 pounds within two weeks of having him, which was incredible. But my body just still does not look the same. It's very it's very it's, it's to the point it's not just like a little bit it's a lot of it and it's to the point where i don't even recognize myself i guess like when i'm trying things on like i want to wear the things i want to wear like that uh, that represent like me as like a person and i can't wear those things and i think like coming from like a young woman who should be able to dress how she wants to dress and feel how she wants to feel i i just am very frustrated you know like like you as a person comes a comes from like a lot of it comes from like your style and what you wear and I don't know it was a dark place anyways I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that because I know that a lot of you go through these types of things as well and I'm just here to voice that you are not alone um, and that it sucks like it's straight up is crap you know it, it feels like crap but anyway I'm pushing through it um, decided that Target just maybe doesn't have the style and the sizing that I'm looking for at this time in my life. So anyways, I'm back on to Pebby Forever and I ordered myself a couple of things for Florida that will make me feel good. Um, and I ordered just a couple more t-shirts. I got the Good Vibes one and this is like a cactusy one which is super cute. Um, so I ordered, I ordered both of those, and in the Pebby for every sizing, like I'm like a large like XL. So I feel you're welcome for the cupcake. It's so good. Good, I'm glad. You have to stay up here though. What are you doing? No, you need to stay up here, honey. And then you have to come back up here though, because he's gonna get me on. Okay. So, anyways, I just I feel like this. I feel like at this time in my life. Yeah, Target's just, I'm just going to avoid Target. Um, and I'm just gonna keep working at 
my body and I'm going to try to be gentle on myself while I'm in Florida um, because I will be wearing a swimsuit and I will be wearing like just you know I'm not as covered so anyway yeah that sucked yesterday straight up sucked but like I said I'm like PMSing so that's probably not helping at all but Anyway, okay, I need to, speaking of Pebby for Abby, I'm, this is like my go-to shirt when I come home, it's so comfy. Um, I am going to do the dishes. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave Oh my goodness, every time I turn around He has been so fussy today, you guys Okay, alright, come here, pop Okay Plans changed again. Um, all right, I was going to do like a cooking clean with me, and I'm like doing the dishes right now. I was about to start supper, and I was gonna do a cooking clean with me tomorrow, edit a video for tonight, have that up for you guys. That is not gonna happen. We are just, I'm just gonna show you the rest of our night tonight. I'm gonna like show you like what I make and everything, but this video is gonna go live for tomorrow morning, Monday morning. <laughs> I am so like off my rocker sometimes, like between like m and Rustics, which like that's coming to an end. You know, Mike's always gone for work. I am working 10 hour days and <laughs> just meh. But I love YouTube and I can't stop doing YouTube because I love it. But anyways, guys, I'm sorry that the schedule has been like all over the place. I know it's probably annoying to hear, but this is real working mom life. This is how it works when the baby's not happy and won't let me put him down. He's just only smiling when I'm holding him. So, oh, I got a piece of hair in my mouth. So anyways, um, yeah, what I think I'll do for a schedule then this week is we will do our day in the life for tomorrow and then Wednesday. Um, I will have my um, cooking clean with me and um, somewhere in between there, probably Tuesday, I'll have that microblading video up for you guys. Um, the uploading failed on it twice, so I need to re-upload that again. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you're not feeling very good, are you, buddy? So I need to fix the um, uploading issue with that microblading part two video. All the things, but yeah, all the things, all the things. All right, guys, well, right now it is five o'clock. Um, I still have the rest of these dishes to do, so I'm gonna turn on some Spotify. Um, I have been listening to my sister's like ch chill <laughs> Spotify playlist today, and I've really been loving it. Um, again, like my anxiety's just been super high and weird today, especially with like a crabby baby, it doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, but you're cute, and I love you. Um, so, and Kaya's just, Kaya's just, I don't know. I don't know if she's getting sick or she needs a nap or what's going on, but she is She's resting on the couch here too and she's just kind of been out of sorts like she seems to be having like some high anxiety today too So I recognize that and I've been trying to be patient with her um, I had her playing on her Osmo this thing right here um, Which teaches like letters and shapes and things like that. Nobody we're not gonna play with that um Teaches her letters and shapes like that, and I found she was getting like. <laughs> yeah, see, as soon as I put him down, he starts crying. <laughs> Come here, bud. Come here. Come here. So, um, <laughs> just a rough day in the Bylan household. Tell you what. Tell you what. You think? Anyway, um, Kai, I found Kaya was like getting frustrated, like really quickly, um, which is usually not like her. She's usually um, very high, yeah, clapping. She's usually like, hi, dad. Yeah, we said, hi, dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> hi, dad. Yeah, but usually is very like patient, and she just wasn't having it today. And neither is this guy. <sighs> All right, guys, I like need a workout tonight. I need a workout. 
I need to blow off some steam. My anxiety. Oof. Any of you other mamas just have like super high anxiety days? Today is just. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Yeah, Dad's way more fun than Mom, huh? Mike is. Hi. Yeah. Mike had to run some trips um, to Menards because there's just some there's crazy stuff going on. We're supposed to do a gate delivery this afternoon, and that's not gonna work because Mike has to run and do that. He has to run to his office and all these things. So. Anyways, and then he's got, um, yeah, just a million things going on. So, anyway, it'll settle down. We've got 10 days to vacation, and I'm ready for it, you guys. I'm extremely ready for it. All right, I'm going to get some things done. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm going to get some things done. I'm going to do the dishes. I'm going to do the dishes, and then I'm going to make dinner, and then I'm going to work out. What do you think, huh? You cupboard little troll. <laughs> you stinky boy. <laughs> okay. Whew. It is now 5.50. I'm still doing dishes because I get like maybe 10 minutes of like scrubbing in and then I've got this guy at my feet again saying, Mama, 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 Mama. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can put him in his little pen over here. I've got Finding Nemo on. Maybe I can just distract him long enough for me to finish the dishes and get the chicken on the grill, huh? Huh? <sighs> Alrighty, this is dinner tonight. Um, Kai is just having. Some blueberries, um, a drummy, a little bit of ketchup. This is what Riker had too, except Riker had raspberries instead of blueberries. And then for dessert, I have a cup of sugar-free Jello for Kaya. So this is what she'll be eating. And then to make the uh, to make the chicken. So I, what I do with the drummies is I coat them in a little bit of avocado oil, and then I'll show you the seasoning that I use. I've showed you guys this before. Um, but this is what we like to use on our chicken, is this with a little bit of the sriracha and a little bit of the steak and chop. And then this is the avocado oil we use and it is from Costco. And I put them in the air fryer until they reach 185 degrees and this is what they look like when they're done. These are a little overcooked, but I was trying to get these dishes done. I finally got them done. I'm on my like last bowl from like dinner and then I'm finally done. Quick dinner update for me. I'm having two chicken drummies and some bitchin' sauce. And my other meals for today have been pretty sad. My other meals for today, this morning I had one egg and some bacon, and then I had three sausage links and some fruit at the bridal shower, and now this is my next meal. I've probably had only like 800 calories today, but I just haven't been hungry, so this is what we're having today. I literally was like, cooking and cleaning all day. Um, I was working on these dishes all afternoon. Riker was being absolutely impossible. To restart the time on these again. Riker was being super impossible. Um, was trying to eat Kaya's hand sanitizer um, in like her backpack. <sighs> Stinker butt. No, P didn't. I caught him in time and I grabbed it from him. But he's just like been into everything. That and then when I was feeding him earlier, um, he had a cracker, um, which I thought was okay. And he started choking on it and I almost had to do the Heimlich on him. Like, anyways, I he's just been into everything and like giving me scares and heart attacks all afternoon, training hand sanitizer, choking on like his cracker and oh my gosh so I am fried mama is fried tonight um, I need to finish straightening up because while I have been doing the dishes for literally like four hours off and on he has been getting into everything and like crumbs and mess everywhere but this is taking up my entire living room and is driving me crazy oh, mess <laughs> Put it right on top of the pile. Aya is like still sleeping. I don't know if she's not feeling good or what's going on, but it's like 7.15. Oh, Riker's like, hello. 
Yeah. Hi, sister. Hi, sister. I don't know what's going on, but she's not like, she's just not feeling the best. So, my hair, my curls, my beautiful curls I had this morning have completely fallen. What do you do? What do you do? Um, I got like dish water in my hair, all the things. <sighs> all right, I need to finish up this vlog and edit it for you guys. I'm sorry that my schedule's been all over the place. I've been trying to like get videos like more so like pre-uploaded and pre-recorded, but getting to that point like takes a lot of um, pre-recording and pre-editing and things like that. So. We're getting there. Um, we are still on like a three video a week schedule at least. It's just not on my normal days. Oh puppy. Oh puppy. The crying is just constant crying today. What's going on sweet boy? Alright you guys. I am going to end the vlog there for today so that I can get these kids fed and in bed. And then I am going to do a workout. A lot of you guys ask when I've been doing my workouts. And I have been fitting it in as soon as I lay them down for bed. It is 7.15. You what? You wanna go sleep in your room? Okay. You want some milk? I'll get you some milk. Just a minute. So, um, as soon as I put them down for bed between like seven and seven thirty, then I will <laughs> then I will work out. Tonight's gonna be a little bit later just because I'm running behind schedule with the dishes and everything taking me like all day today. So I will probably work out around 8.30 tonight after I've eaten and stuff. So that is the plan, Stan. And yeah, see boy, yeah. All right, I need to, Kaya, you be polite, please. All right, I need to go get Kaya some milk, wake her up a little bit, and get things done. I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video on my channel. Okay, bye guys.